four months ago, I tried to reach out to you. I went by the house that you used to live. I made several fake pages to hit you up. I had enough courage in me to come forth that you were just ghosting me. I didn't know what happened to you. I didn't know what else to do. I was falling so hard for you. <laughs> but I trusted you, you broke that trust. The real reason I ghosted you was because the stuff you were saying about me was honestly so disrespectful. Um, well, I, well, I don't recall ever disrespecting you. Are you kidding me? Why would you ever think that? I mean, I prove, so. What do you mean you have proof? Like You wouldn't show me any of your comedy stuff at all. So I found out about one of your shows and I snuck in. The stuff you were saying about me was so just not okay at all to put in a stand-up routine. I mean, I have, I took a video, so. I mean, if you really want me to be specific, I have that. I guess I would because I might have had like a few jokes about you, but I never put your personal life on blast or anything like that. Like. Can I please show them the video? Yeah, you can show, yeah, we're gonna come over there. We wanna watch it as well. Okay. <laughs> I just wanna say, I have this new girlfriend, man, and she's like crazy. She's like teaching me all this stuff, like 71, like 69 with two fingers. <laughs> French manager of my spank bank forever. The only thing is, uh, she calls me daddy. It's like, that's a lot of responsibility. I mean, I'm gonna wear my jean shorts, but it was a PTA and get the girls I really want. Like, thank you for teaching me all these things. <laughs> man. I mean, so what, because of these, like, three jokes, like, you could have just told me not to say those jokes because... No, no, because it was not okay for you to ever say those jokes. You referred to my daddy issues, which is really not okay. Growing up without a dad my whole life, and you just want to make a little joke about it. I have to live with that, with all that that you're saying about me comes from all this deep baggage that I have to live with. And yeah, you can just make jokes about it, but I don't get to do that. You could have just sat me down instead of just pretending that like I don't exist anymore. I don't know, it's just like kind of, uh, kind of ridiculous to me. Are you know? serious? This is it, this is why the past nine months I've been sitting like racking my brain wondering what am I missing, am I an idiot? And it's about this, my stand up like. You were making jokes about how our sex life is really crazy and I'm really experienced. Oh my God, it's a joke though. Our sex life is absolutely no one else's business. It's embarrassing, honestly. And the really thing is, is I don't know how many times you did that. I don't know how many clubs you went to and said those jokes. I... I trusted you. You broke that trust, and instead of just being like, oh yeah, I messed up, that was really bad of me to do. You're just making excuses and being like, oh, it's just a joke. Couple of months before I just vanished, I was cheating on you. You sent me 
a message telling me that you were pregnant. My heart dropped. I was so ashamed to explain this to you. I was so ashamed to explain to my child that I'm gay. And it was sickening to me. So I just got the idea not to talk to you no more. So when you told me you was pregnant, I felt like that would be best for my child and best for you so you wouldn't be ashamed of me. It took me a lot of time, a lot of self-growth to be telling you this today. It hurts my heart to think what I've done to you. I took advantage of two innocent people's feelings to help me figure out myself and that was wrong. But we have a child now and I want to be in my child's life. Now you want to be a dad, Russell? Four months ago, I tried to reach out to you. I went by the house that you used to live. I made several fake pages to hit you up. I had enough courage in me to come forth that you were just ghosting me. I didn't know what happened to you. I didn't know what else to do, so I reached out for help. I brought the baby a gift, because I didn't know if it was a girl or a boy, so. I wanted you to take this. Wow. No. Honestly. Whew. That gift. That gift doesn't matter. What do you mean? What's, what's the problem? Listen, like, me being gay listen, has nothing to do listen, with me being a dad. It's not about then you being gay. It? Then what is it? It's not about you being what gay. What is it? There is no baby. Destiny, Russell's niece said that she saw you in the mall pushing a stroller. Whose baby was it? My sister's. OK. Is that what the emoji in your Instagram profile represents? No. It's a constant reminder of my baby. I had a miscarriage. No, Destiny, please don't play with me. I know you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Everything. Well, we need to first start off with thank, like, thank you for like actually showing up. You have no idea what I've been through for the last four years. You were like everything to me. You were like the only person that I can go to and then you just left. So I went to go see Maggie. I had to get answers from her, of all people. And then you hear that you guys are not together. It's been four months. You know, you sent me a request on Instagram, and then I sent you a message. I didn't get no response, nothing. Like, you just brought me all the way back from being out of, like, going out of depression. Like, I was out of the depression, and then you put me right back in there. I know it's been four years, it sounds crazy, but I am in love with you. <sighs> I am bisexual. I have not told anybody. I couldn't even share it with you. This is like one of the hardest things I ever had to do in my life. We were supposed to be best friends. Like, I'm confused, like, did I make you uncomfortable? Did you not like how my attitude was? Did you go to San Francisco to get away from me? Yeah. That would just put a whole freaking bullet in my chest right now. Like, why? I need to know why you ghosted me. I 
I'm sorry that you feel this way, and I'm sorry that you feel that I wasn't there for you when you're going through this time. I do miss our friendship, but I've been going through my own stuff, and it's been difficult. Even like Maggie, like Maggie's a big part of the reason why I'm even here today. She just told me like I had to just come and like hear you out. The real reason that I ghosted you, I'm gay. It's been really hard to like find myself and um, I thought me and Maggie were gonna be together forever, but I'm starting to realize who I really am. I was scared back then. I didn't know how to feel. Well, we come from a conservative town, so. Brandon, you said earlier that you left Illinois because of Reese. Why did you say that? I could feel that he had feelings for me, and I didn't know how to react to you having feelings to me at the time. I was just very confused. I felt like getting away from you would have given me and Maggie a better relationship. I did love you, too. When you said goodbye to me at the airport and we hug, I just knew. I just knew that there was something there, but I just didn't want to, I just didn't know how, I guess. I don't know. Like, we, you know, we could have <laughs> been through this together. We supposed to be best friends. I moved to a new city. I only have Maggie. And yeah, we did break up four months ago. Imagine how hard that was for me after I moved here across the whole country for someone who I was, I felt, was the love of my life, you know what I mean? What really did you want? My friendship. I did reach out to you four months ago. I sent you a friend request. And when I saw you message me, I just didn't know how to respond at the time. And I wish I could have been there for you, but I'm here now. Guys, we're all here because Brendan decided to ghost Reese four years ago. Will you decide to make up or ghost? Please send a final text now. OK, Reese, what did you decide? I would love to have, like, a relationship with you. So I've decided makeup. Brendan, what did you decide? I've decided to make up as well. Just seeing you again just brings all my feelings back, and I'm excited to see what the future has. Oh, you guys! <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> you guys! Group hug, group hug, group hug. Can we get out of here? Yeah. Um, I've really missed you for the last two years. I mean, seeing you today brought back so many good memories. You were one of the only genuine people I found at BC, and like we shared so much. You helped me through a lot of tough times. My family has also really missed you. I think it's just been hard for me because you were so important to me at BC for four years, and you were like my biggest support system there. And now we just haven't talked at all. Um, I've racked my brain trying to think if I accidentally said something that would have been offensive, and I really can't come up with anything. And I, like, honestly just want to figure out what happened. Senior year, we talked a lot about us moving to L.A. together. Um, were you mad that I moved to D.C. instead of L.A.? Not at all. No. So why did you ghost me? First, I want to say that it's so good to see you. Being able to see you, like, healthy, just... But I never, like, stopped caring about you, stopped... I didn't forget about you every single time you reached out. It was really, really hard to just 
ignore you and I just always felt like I was part of your family. So I just really want to thank you for that. But... Uh, I ghosted you because... ...we supporting Trump. When I saw these posts before you deleted them. What's that photo of? Whitney posted about the inauguration and seemed like you were very enthusiastic about it. There were posts on Whitney's page from the inauguration. On this one, it says Trump's inauguration was empty. And then it's a photo of it clearly not being empty. In posting that, you are showing support. And it really just broke my heart. I didn't want to make you feel like you had to believe a certain thing in order to be my friend. <sighs> How do I explain all of the experiences of my life and my family's life and say, please don't support him for this reason or that reason? I, it's, I couldn't, it was like trying to explain my whole life. My mom's from Jamaica, my dad's from St. Kitts, like those, are two of the countries that he was talking is such horrible things about. <sighs> My parents worked so hard to give me the life that I have. And knowing what he stands for, I just, I could never support that. And I could never stand by and watch someone who I love so, so much support that. And that's why I ghosted you. First of all, I want to say thank you for finally telling me. Second of all, I want to say, like, I'm honestly kind of shocked that that was the reason. Like, I was not expecting that at all. I'm kind of mad because this is why ghosting is so messed up. If you had texted me and said, what's up with the Trump stuff? I would text you back and I would tell you, I don't like him. My family built a steel company and like some of the economic stuff helps small steel companies in freaking Utica, New York. Did you vote for him though? I did vote for Trump in the 2016 election. I mean, I, I'm like, I really, I didn't want to share any of this on camera. <laughs> I didn't want to share it. I understand. <laughs> Bro, it's out there. <laughs> if you had a different political view, it is your responsibility to be able to speak your piece and use it as a platform to educate that person. And I'm upset with her that she didn't do that. You know me pretty well. Like, we live together. You know my values as a person. You know, I've been mortified by the past three years and shocked what's going on in our country. But like, I live in DC. I have conversations with people about politics all the time. And like, even if we don't share the same views, it's a conversation. Like you can talk through it. And like, I just, I can't believe you haven't talked to me in two years because I voted for him. Ghosting just wasn't right, honestly. Can I just like take a second? We're gonna go right over here. And then yeah, we could just sit right here. How are you? That's not what I expected. I hate telling people that I voted for him because I'm not the type of person that doesn't want immigrants in our country. I'm not like that at all. How did you know seeing her react make you feel? I mean, horrible. That's why I avoided it for two years. I figured that she was going to think like, oh, how could you think that of me? It's like, if you're co-signing it and posting it, of course I'm gonna think that. If I had had a hint it has to do with politics, I would think, oh, well, if she was mad about the stuff I posted about Trump, she would have reached out to me about it. We would have sat down and have a conversation. Like, we would have been able to get through that. It was just good to see her, so I'm getting emotional again, but... Okay. I don't disagree, you know, with what you said. What I do disagree with is 
how you handled it and how you ultimately ghosted Whitney. Because if I ghosted every one of my friends or family members that I didn't agree 100% with, I would have nobody in my life. Okay, Whitney, what did she decide? Because I think that our friendship is too important to me. You know, we've been friends for a long time, been through a lot. I decided I want to make up. To hear, what did you decide? <sighs> I was in a position where I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to face the situation. It was wrong of me to ghost you. Without an explanation, I know it wasn't the right way to go about it. I just want you to know that I, I just love you so much and I truly am just really happy to see you. So I want to make up. I love you too. Yeah, you guys! Premieres Wednesday, September 2nd after Catfish, only on MTV. We've never been two hopeless hook up. An identical twin. <gasps> Everybody in Hawaii is in on this. <gasps> That's insane. We've never seen anything like this. The catfish sent you the real guy's Facebook page. Come on!